My name is David Garcia. I'm going to be 59 years old this year, November. I was born and raised here in the United States. My dad's from Texas. My mom's from Rhinelander. And I married young, had four children, divorced. And um, I have four, four children, 13 grandchildren. I've been working ever since I was able to. I started as a paper boy and worked up and got part-time jobs during school and then went into manufacturing. I started at Kohler in January of 1997. Well, working for Kohler is, is a very good benefit, you know, because they pay very well. They're one of the best playing, paying places here. In fact, they're the number one company here in this area. I started out in, in working in the stock room. Then I worked in the machine shop for a while, but I didn't like the machines and standing in one spot all the time. It's not me. So then I went back to receiving and shipping, and that's where I was when I got laid off. Well, the economy started to do the nosedive, you know, and orders started getting less and less, and no orders, no work, no work. They don't need the people standing around, so they started cutting us. It's been over a year for me now. The end of February was my last day of work last year. When they're going to have a layoff, they'll come to you maybe on a couple weeks early, you know, earlier and you know, have a meeting and, and they tell you, you know, they're pretty good about it. Not like the offices, office people. I feel sorry for the office people because they'll come in to work and, and get escorted out that day, you know, which I think is totally unfair. But for us with the union, you know, we have a union there and they're pretty pretty good. The union we have is UAW. No, they would tell us as a group how many people were going to get cut. So we knew, we knew it was coming. The union did all they could. You know, they brought the state people in to our, to our union hall. So we didn't have to go to the unemployment division, wherever that is. I don't know. But um, yeah, they, they brought the people to us, which was good, I thought. And the, and the uh, TAA people, I don't know if you ever heard of them, they came to us and, and we enrolled and everything, and it was, it was pretty good. TAA is an organization, I'm not sure exactly what the TAA says, but it's an organization that helps laid off dislocated workers, they call us. And they offer us schooling and training for, well, like computers and if you want to go to college, they, they give grants. And I tried, I tried going to school, but the subject I picked, I found out I didn't like. It was going to be truck driving, semi. And so I stopped it before it went too far where, so they wouldn't spend too much money. But yeah, they, they helped. Seeing as I had 12 years, I wasn't really too worried about the, the layoff. I figured, ah, oh, this could be a nice little vacation, you know, because I've been working all my life. And... Um, so to keep the state happy, I enrolled in school, you know, all the time thinking, well, a couple months, they'll call me back. But as time went on, I started thinking, wow, you know, this is harsher than what I thought. So um, I'm just kind of hanging in there now, taking little computer classes and working part time, and trying to survive. As for resumes sent out, mm, I would say at least 30, 30 resumes and about that amount of, of applications too. Not getting any response. I'm not getting any response at all. And so I'm wondering, you know, just, and I know of companies that are hiring, but they're hiring the younger people. So like I said, I'm in, I'm in a limbo right now. I'm still getting unemployment with the um, extensions. And I do a little part-time janitorial work to survive. Between income and expenses, I'd say they're almost even. My savings are gone. They're gone now. All my all the extras are gone. What I've what I've I've even been thinking about dipping into the four hundred one because I had heard that, well, I had read that after over fifty, in a in a dire need you can pull and, and they won't penalize you but I haven't checked into it yet I'm kind of trying not to but if I have to I will as for my house I'm going to try to hold on to that to my house I have a real nice little house just my size and um, I'm going to try to keep it at all costs
Well, according to my, my caseworker, I have about 25 weeks left of unemployment. So I would say 25 weeks to find work. Otherwise, it's going to get ugly. Yeah, I would tell my children to start saving now because when they're going to get old one day and, and that money, if they start saving now, it'll build. And that's the way to go. A lot of people, they didn't do that back then. Well, I didn't. You know, because you could, you could quit one job one day and next week you'd have another one. They were everywhere. But it isn't that way anymore. It's tough.